Hello and welcome back to Water. My name is Beast. Today we're back with uh, Grisaia, actual fruits this time. Probably the finale of We Choose Root, and also cheese. Cheese. I need to have some spready cheese later. Well, actually, hold on, oh, right. damn it, oh. we ran out of sourdough as well. Bollocks. This talk of cheese is making me hungry. It's fucking, <laughs> this cheese is like really fucking soft. I could cut it by just dragging the knife through it. <laughs> very, very I'm softly. Hungry. Threatening it with the knife, it'll fall apart. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ, let's just, let's just, just hold on. I'll try. Maybe it'd work. Just, just give it, give it a particularly sharp comment, and it breaks. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> we just cut off the rind on this piece that I just cut off. There we go. Put that in the bowl I prepared for this specifically. Hold on. Now I can probably show it a little bit better. I don't know if you like this. I have to use a bit more force than if I were to like drag it like this. <laughs> Say, and then <laughs> dense cheese falls off. Cheese, cheese. Rummy. I've got my my knockers, Rummy. <laughs> Not that long, cap you again. <laughs> you could see a Tomska. Uh huh. I don't know why, but like, Please. I just. Earlier today, I remembered that Skype of Minecraft exists, but didn't he, like, apparently fall off fucking hard? Who, Tomska? No, Skype of Minecraft. Oh, my mistake. Um, you got a... Was that the other guy? All of them got a divorce, I think. Yeah, I think so. Apparently, there were, like, fucking... domestic abuse charges. I can't... I don't know. Oh. Like, I guess at the same time, I gotta say, I'm look, like, you did have some weird ass fuck jokes in his videos meant for mainly y young audience. Like, especially shit like the fucking Cops and Robbers Minecraft videos, where at one point the joke was literally just a warden forcing the prisoners to take a shower so he can watch them. Like, that's fucking yikes. I mean, yeah, that'd definitely be fine for an older audience because it's funny, but I don't know about a younger one. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's hard to hold that kind of stuff against people because it's like, not I used to watch Sky does Minecraft, but I, in my opinion, his fall-off already started when the whole net nobody thing started. Net nobody? Yeah, fucking Sky does Minecraft tried to start a music career. Oh, that's right. He did, did he? Yeah, that's why I, where I feel it, the fall off started. Like, I you, like I literally, you know, it's he fell off because I still watch the occasional videos from Max, which used to be his editor that is, then appeared in a few of his videos, and then started his own channel. Even if oh. most of his fucking content is like, like hold on, actually, you know what? I'm curious now. What what were like the past few videos on? Like, I'm not gonna actually read out all the fucking videos, I'm just like, say, okay, what's the game he's playing? Uh, here we go. Methazan. Okay, let's see. Lockdown Protocol, lethal, lethal Company, Goose Game, Lethal Company, Lethal Company, Super Mario Jamboree, Lethal Company, Lockdown, Lethal Company, Goose Game, Lethal Company, Lethal Company, Seven Minutes in Hell, Lethal Company, Lockdown Protocol, Lethal Company, Goose Game, Lethal Company, Lethal Company, Dale and Dawson Stationary Supplies, Lethal Company, Lockdown Protocol, Lethal Company, Goose Game, Lethal Company, Lethal Company, Lethal Company, Lethal Company, Lethal Com Lockdown Protocol, Lethal Company. I think he likes his company, Lethal Company, Lethal Company. That's funny, that. Yeah, the man was like uploading fuck what felt like exclusively Goose Game videos until Lethal Company came out. And then it was literally all Lethal fucking Company. What is Goose Game? Is is that the? Is that what I think it is? 
Goose Game is literally just totally not among us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I say the man ought to give some give us fucking golf with friends videos again. Those are fucking funny. Anyways. Steve Zamichu's goodbye really was intended as a final farewell. I'm terrified of losing the things I care about, so I'll erase myself if any sad things can happen. I understand the logic. Here's my question now. Uh, what are the people you leave behind? Amichu herself was abandoned by the girl she called her best friend. Would her own abrupt exit leave others to suffer in the same way? Is she really selfish enough to ignore their feelings? Or stupid enough to not realize people care about her? Cast my eyes down to my wristwatch. The display is precisely ticks off the time, busily rearranging its pixels with every passing second. We'll be fine for the morning soon. I had a feel Amicia would return about this time. I don't know in what sort of condition she is in right now. But for some reason, I'm confident about this. Press my trainings on hold again. Use a god side. We can do this. Oh, mother. And do... Where is it? There it is. Reload. There we go. Oh, never mind. I can close this now. Oh wait, like, and suddenly I find an, a, a better version of what I was looking for last time with Grisaia, where, like, it tells us the choice that leads to each of the things. But suddenly better that for some reason I didn't, wasn't able to access on the actual Michi route, route video, that's, uh, 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 not video, site I'm in, I mean, that's fucking retarded anyways. Neglecting my physical maintenance to wait anxiously for a woman's return. But I don't think it was just a few months ago. I really come down in the world. Murmuring a little self ridicule, I leave my room. Decided to find Sachi wandering around the courtyard, restlessly sweeping away dust with her broom. Okay, let's try some of this cheese. Cheese. Mm, good. Only thing that it needs is a little bit of salt, and that's what the chips provide. It's time to find Sachi wandering around the courtyard, restlessly sweeping away dust with the broom. What's going on? You're awfully early. Hi. That day, today, Michiru-sama will come back to the day, right? I thought I would do a good job. 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 I know the Seka Seka is supposed to be the hustle bustle thing, but there's literally a Yu Gi Oh card called Dengeki Seka as well as a card called Seka's Light. And suddenly someone's playing Skyrim. I'm serious, so that's what this is about. I started waiting this early in the morning. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm actually set myself to offline so those don't happen. Like, they kind of stopped being funny since the bee thing has stopped happening that, that often. <laughs> Fucking Barry B. Benson. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what it's about. But I started worrying, wor 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 waiting this early in the morning. <laughs> That's what explains the rustling sound I heard outside in the middle of the night. But she has a scrupulous one, to an idiotic degree. I'm thinking she'll be arriving pretty soon, what the hell about me? Hi! Doki doki shimasu ne. Hisashiburi no Michiru sama desu. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear you clean her room for you, uh, for her. So, so deしょうか. Ah, but I'm not. 
Mm. Ah, speak of the devil. The gold tinted silhouette comes into view across the road. Twin tail projecting from her head, unmistakable. Let's meet your old rod. Alright. What is that she doesn't look any different from when she left school? The question, of course, is what's inside. Not exaggerate, from this distance anyone could tell at a glance. Mitya approaches slowly, dragging her luggage behind her and watching the ground. After finally reaching us, she comes to an abrupt halt. Yeah, that's the wrong Mitya do. さあ、ちょっと頼んでおいた部屋の掃除はしてくれたの from this conversation, you'd think Michi was completely fine. It feels not too natural, too smooth, to the point that it's actually a little disturbing. それじゃあ行くわよ。ユージも極論さん、ジャージに着替えて走ってくれば、この時間はいつもそうしてるじゃない。体、なまっちゃうわよ。Hold on, I've got something to discuss with you. That's not going to work, even if you don't, I do, understand? Yep, there you go. それがこのコミネソチの役目ですから。では、お先に失礼いたします。それで何話があるならパパッと済ませちゃいましょう。私本当に疲れてるのよ。これは冗談じゃなくてね。Not exactly a quick and easy question, but I'll get right to the point. You're the other meet you around you. Huh? Spare me the games and ask you a serious question. Or is dodging around like that but pants for honesty in your book? Eh? I'm not a mad woman. So I understand the girl's real intentions, what you're playing at here. Alright, I'll change the question. What were result, the, the results of your medical examination? うん。それなら答えてあげよう。全然何の問題もなかったわよ。だからこうして帰ってきたんでしょストレスがひどいって言われたけど、現代人はみんなそんなものじゃないだから大丈夫。yeah, I suppose we are. Going back to your room, get some rest. ありがとう。それじゃあまたね、ゆうじくん。ゆうじくんのあれ。ああ、そうだ。そうそう。私からも言いたいことがあったんだった。What's that? もう彼女は二度と起き上がってこないの。とても、とても深い闇の中に沈んだの。ね、そういうことだから、これは彼女が決めたことだから。君には、どうにもできないのよ。これ、ミチルさま。荷物を置いてきましたよ。あ、わか
Nietzsche once struggled to tell me how it felt to wake up and find everything wrapped up neatly without her knowledge. I think I'm gonna kind of sort of understand now. I was concerned about Nietzsche in my way, but before I had the chance to take action, everything's been settled. A solution methodically arranged along rigid lines, like a carefully built tower of cards I'm not even allowed to touch. Well, I think the girl was right about one thing, might as well run to keep up the routine. Maintain your pace, play within the established rules, swim with the current. That's the only way to make any progress. But right now, Michi is refusing to accept the most fundamental rules of the world. I'm gonna need to take some action of some sort. Before that, I'll run. Sometimes I, you think better when m you're moving. Normally I change clothes, for clothes first, but today I set off in my school uniform. I've got to regain my calm. Just pull myself together, then I'll deal with the problem at hand. Our classmates welcome Michio's return to the dormitory happily. Even more than the all clear from her medical examination, they were encouraged by the dramatic improvement on her, in, her, in her mood. The girl's been moving through her, usual, through, through her daily routine as the usual Michio. Nobody seems to have caught on to the fundamental change that's taken place deep inside her. But as Jumichu's absence stretches into days, some of her friends seem to be vaguely beginning to sense her subtle transformation. Go ahead, I'll answer if I can. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
鍵も風見さんが開けてくださったことですし中のお掃除を Locked what? Glance confirms that box is indeed unsecured. I'm sure I locked it after nosing around inside the other day. Oh. Instinctively reach out again in the reaction to the strange sight, but this time my timing is bad. I bump out Sachi's arm just as she's shifting box in her hands with jolts sends her small chest tumbling to the floor below. No, I'm sorry, that was my fault. Yeah, that it is、uh, quite empty. Just as I said, there's nothing inside. It's just an empty wooden box. Sachi wipes the dust from its interior with a small cloth and returns it to the closet. Tell me, Sachi, was this box empty from the start? You see, in that case, never mind. Go ahead, don't worry, I'm sure Michiro won't mind me being here. Sit down on the bed and lightly roll my shoulders. There were definitely notebooks and pictures in that box. His appearance was to mean that the current Michiro disposed of them after her return. Honestly, I guess Tana did something here. That's my line. What happened to the contents of that box? Those aren't the sort of things you can throw away without permission, woman. No, really, you see, this Michu's room, not yours. Now, th with those words, Michio throws herself down on the bed next to me, seemingly indifferent to the concept of personal space she settles in extremely close. I mean, she certainly ain't innocent here. She is an enabler right now, which is dangerous.、Yeah. <laughs> like, the most dangerous person to have in your life is someone that enables bad habits, and she is actively doing that. Girl peers at my face as she speaks, her expression serious. Then say you're to blame. Yeah, so no, She has a point. Exactly, I have to meet you. I have my theories, but I don't know anything for a fact. You're right. Sorry, please tell me what's going on. With a deep sigh of resignation, Michio resumes the conversation on a markedly different note. Okay, Gotta get rid of my camera again. I want it all to end. This world's just too sad. Why do people die? Why do we have to leave each other? Nobody can give me a good answer. I'm the most worthless person in this world, so why do I have to force myself to go on living this pathetic, miserable little life? It wouldn't be so bad if it was just inferior to everybody else, but I'm not even the best me inside of me. It's really painful to be sad. It's the point of my existence, nobody's telling me. I do the friends who treat me kindly all go away. Why do we have to say goodbye to the people I love? Everybody else is just turning a blind eye to the fact that it all ends. Goddamn, I suddenly have the goddamn 
Sonic and Black Knight final boss themes in my head. <laughs> Context. It is called uh, With Me and the band that sings it is called All Ends. They're telling me, they're telling me themselves com they're telling themselves comfortable lies. That's how they get through the day. I don't want to be in a world like that. It's scary. Really, really scary. でも本当にそれでいいの？これは君の体で、君の人生なんだよ。分かってる。でもこれ以上続けていく自信がない。だからあなたにこれからの私を任せたい。ごめんね。私がもっと君のことをちゃんとフォローできれば。no, no, quite frankly, it would have been better if you never fucking took over. The issue is that you didn't follow up properly. The issue is that you followed up, which caused her more anxiety. Okay, never mind. Uh, the voice is still a bitch. She barely tried to fucking convince her. Let's see if that's Michu's decision, maybe that's the way it'll have to be, but tell me, what are your thoughts on the matter? Then again, if Michu never comes back, you'll be able to live freely, right? As your own person, that's someone who's standing. You'll be able to do what you want to do, even when you want to do it. Pretty decent deal, don't you think? Don't you want another shot in life? She will bite the fingernails, she ponders the question. Probably isn't even aware she's doing it. That's true, but... But... This is my body. Of coming a moment of hesitation, the girl delivers her answer in a resolute tone. In other words, you want to respect Nietzsche's wishes first and foremost. No matter what that may mean for you, or for that body. Just answer the question. You really believe that what Nietzsche wants should take precedence, correct? <laughs> All right, then. Slap my hands together smartly. Now we can get started. Wounds of the heart aren't the kind of injury someone else can patch up for you in an af in an afternoon. Only the person suffering can ever really understood can ever really understand how deep their wood wounds are. Which means at the end of the day they've gotta be the ones that figures out how to heal them. In other words, I'm not gonna tell Michu to live or to come out of there just because I say so. I need to know I need to know her real feelings first, and I need your cooperation to make that possible. Mm. When deployed to a battlefield far from their homeland, spending weekland weeklands? What? Weeklands? What's that? I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea what that word is. Unusual usual measurement of time at the weekland. Spending weeks in the field listening to bombs fall day and night. The majority of people can't stay in a normal state of mind. It's a, when some lose control over their bladders, some obsessively count the amount of bullets they've used over and over again. Some start ranting and thrashing in the middle of the night. Like, I will say that it is, like, somewhat fucking ironic that the other Michu is constantly like, you don't know what death is like, no one does, and it's like, I may not have died, uh, but I sure have seen a lot of it. Those in their way are probably the self-defense mechanisms of human beings eager to retreat into their own minds and escape from a hellish reality. But I'm familiar with a way to hold a conversation with people like that, no matter how far gone they seem. 
Maybe familiar isn't the right word. I've experienced it personally. Not exactly a pleasant memory for me, but can't say I'm eager to do the same thing to someone else. For right now, I don't have any other choice. The most important thing is to hear what Misha herself has to say. There's no time for hesitation. I set about making my preparations. Curtain to dentist stand. Studying the objects I've brought back to the room with me, Misha blinks in confusion. The curtain is a thick, opaque one I borrowed from the AV room. The lamp is perfectly normal, although I fiddled with it, the wiring to attach a makeshift modulator. That's right, we'll be using these to get a hold of me, cheater. Probably for the best. It's not exactly the sort of story that's gonna get you dancing with joy. Cutting off the line of conversation, I retrieve a container of ramen candy from a pocket. It's the same one I found in Michu's room. <laughs> the medicine she was taking to keep you in check. The willpower, this medicine, and a little hypnosis are gonna drag her out of her hiding place. That's right, once you take the medicine, all you have to do is lie down on the bed. Once I've explained the basic idea, Michu swallows the medicine I offer her, then obediently lies face up on the f on the bed. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Let the tension out of your shoulders and relax. Just stare up at the ceiling and let your mind go blank. Pulling the curtain across the window, I plunge the room into a complete darkness. And then flip, 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 flip on the lamp, guided by the faint glow of fluorescent paint on the switch. The orange tinted light flashes brightly from the bulb, then fades away just as quickly. Next, I move my hand to the modulator and turn this knob experimentally. First, alters the light's color. Second, change the speed at which it blinks. Seems to be working as intended. Take a beach's pulse from her wrist when peering down at her pupils there, meaning fiddling with the flashing lights for a good 20 minutes. About time, I think. Only adjusting the sort of device involves the use of expensive electronic equipment, and carefully monitoring the subject's brain waves and pupillary reflexes. I don't know to brainwash me to or cure some condition. All I need to do is place a simple hypnotic suggestion on her mind. It always requires a certain level of trust with the patient, even a makeshift device like this can serve that purpose. <sighs> Telling deeply, I rise to my feet and look down at me to. Stop flashing light. It's in its steady dim glow, I can make out Michio's face below me. The expression seems very peaceful. Michio. Michio can hear me. Michiru. Slowly Michio's lips begin to move. Why does appear without a word like that? I'm worried. I don't apologize. I'm on your side no matter what, okay? So tell me, what do you want to do? Whatever it is, I'll make it happen. I need to know what you really want. Meet you. Answer me. As I begin to lose control of my tone, I begin to some see something change in her eyes. Somewhere deep inside, it's that Meet is rising towards the surface. <laughs> Saying that, and nothing more, Meet eyes fall shut. She goes limp on the bed, apparently unconscious. See? In that case, that's how it'll be. I have to respect your wishes, after all. I gently swipe the sweat from the girl's forehead with my hand. I'll kill you, Michiru. Fucking... <laughs> 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 Fucking Yuji's done with the hypnosis and she's like <laughs> Well <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> just get the cult out. Actually what you, what gun is this even supposed to be? I don't I have no idea. Like I think it's supposed to be modeled after an actual gun, but don't know. I still have the box here somewhere. I feel like I should. Can't find it now. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Things fell just now. Oh no, they fell a lot. No, 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 no. God damn it. 
so much falling happening. Cease. God damn it. Oh, God fucking damn it. Teddy. Okay, shut. There we go. This one is better. This one doesn't immediately fucking tear. Oh, bless me. Anyway. Comfortable. Very comfortable. Wait, wait, did, did she say this out loud? She did, okay. とても心地よかった。全てが平坦で感情の起伏もない、失うものもない。去る人もいない。熱くも寒くもない。ただ静かで無限に闇が広がっている。何の変化も起こらない。私も 終わったら、そう決めてからは闇が怖くなくなった。何も感じないこの空間と私は友達だ。だから怖くない。ここにいれば、あらゆる恐怖から守られている。闇は私に膝枕をする。私の肩を抱く。私に密着し、そこから妖怪し、どこからも果たして、そうでないのかが曖昧になっていく。これでいいんだ。これでいいんだ。I'm just trying to open the door, but I've decided I'm never coming out here again. It's pointless. They should just give up. I'm finished. Nichiru. Hear a voice, a voice that brings back a lot of memories, of voice I'll never hear again. Mirami Nishiru. That voice reaching me here. How is, is his voice reaching me in here, so deep in the dark? I try to lock the door firmly behind me, but it's all it's slipping in through the cracks, trying to reach my heart. I wish he'd cut it out, I wish he decided to end the pain. I decided I don't want to be sad oh. anymore. He had to answer, but if choose to reply, I was not here. I'm worried. Yuji. Those are definitely my words, my feelings, ones I'd left unspoken. <laughs> what do you want to do? He's asking what I want. Whatever it is, I'll make it happen. There's only one answer. I need to know what you really want. I don't want to lose anything else. I don't want to lose anyone else. I need you to answer me. That's an impossible wish, so... <laughs> But even more than that, I don't want to be separated from Yuji. I can see his face above me, really, really close. I'll never see him again. I'll never be able to touch him again. But there's nothing I can do about that now. That kind of slowly fades away. I hear him speak to me. I'll kill you, Michiru. I see. Being killed by the person I love, huh? Yeah, that might just be the happiest possible ending. Once again, I sink down to the deep darkness. When I settle into my home at the bottom of the sea, I easily wonder what'll happen next. Pretty sure dead. I'm pretty much dead already. It's gonna change if Yuji kills me. Or even a small flick of consciousness disappear like nothing. Into nothing. Maybe I'll just fall a little deeper. Into an even darker and more silent world. Can you imagine what an afterlife might be like? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. I'm lonely, of course. But what else can I do? That feels better than me. She always will be. That is the way it has to be. Something's up right. Something's happening, but I can't tell what. Once again, I'm forcibly dragged out of the darkness. Brilliant light pierces deeply through my eyelids, bringing me, bringing with it a sharp jolt of pain. Did you kill me? That might explain this sudden uh, dramatic change. Maybe this is the afterlife. I don't know about that, though. My eyes really hurt. Isn't everything all peaceful after you die? Maybe you still 
See where the body is being carried along the side something. You can feel the vibration of the wheels turning over the floor below. It's not a car. It's not, nothing with an engine. There's something more, much more primitive. That's right, it's just like the times they carted me through the hospital hallways. Somehow this feels a lot stuffier. Why these carts so different? Okay, what is this? What's going on? Decided to never come back to this world, but for some reason I'm still alive. Yeah, I can't open my eyes. Not because it's too bright or anything like that. I literally can't get my eyelids, eyelids to budge. A moment later, I realized there's an even larger problem. It's not just my eyes. Can't move my arms or legs either. Can't even speak. It's probably a little hard to believe, but coming to you just speaking, I'm definitely alive. Could have ruined the afterlife. And very suddenly. From the muffled sound of his voice, I can tell that I'm probably inside some kind of box. Each is dead. I told you guys she was suffering from anemia, but that was a lie. Hospitalization was for a much more serious disease. The exam results really did look favorable. But last night, her condition took an abrupt turn for the worst. It's a real shame, but there was nothing they could do. I died. I mean, yeah, I was preparing I was gonna die and let the other me take over. Something's wrong here. It's lying inside a box, being treated like someone who's really dead. A box with a dead person inside. Guess I'm lying in a coffin, then? Does that mean there's a glass window at the top? I hope not. I don't know, know what my face looks like right now. It makes me regret not spending a little more time taking care of my skin. What the fuck kind of thought is that? <laughs> you think you're dead and all you're like, oh my god, I wish I had a better skin routine. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> That's the truth. I mean, this wouldn't have been di disclosed to you guys either, but I wanted to give you the guy guys. The, uh, but I wanted to give you the chance to get some closure. I mean, his voice is thick with tears. The news of my death seems to have shocked her pretty badly. That's I think you all have some idea what I'm talking about. Every one of us is here for, for very private reasons. Involving messy, complicated circumstances. Given that, it shouldn't be that surprising for a death to be handled as quietly as possible. Sachi's voice is trembling too. Why is this happening? Why is Yuji doing this? Everyone's getting upset. This isn't what I wanted to happen. I vanished, the other me takes over, and everyone lives happily ever after. That's what I imagined. <laughs> You know, there are two possibilities. Either Yuji set this up without telling everyone and is just using their genuine reactions and is planning on telling them what happened afterwards. Or everyone is acting. And if it's the first... Kind of fucked up of him, considering that Makina would, for Makina, this would be the second time she watches a very pers close, very person, a person who's very close to her, just lie there, dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up, my man. He's never been quite <laughs> like a man. <laughs> I'm gonna grab hold of the monkey so she doesn't thrash around all right. <laughs> and when I consciously try to move, I can't budge. I get twitching a finger, I can't even blink. I don't know why. It's happened to my body. I don't want to make everybody cry, everyone cry. I don't want to hurt anyone, but now Makina's bawling. 
Maybe it doesn't sound like she's been trying. I was scared it'd be too much to tank. They all started weeping over me. Can't see my classmates' faces. I'm walled off by the, from their world, all by myself inside this box. I can only guess from their voices what's occurring around me. I always thought I was alone, but I guess I didn't know what real solitude was until now. Can't speak, can't see their faces, can't move a muscle. I wasn't that cut off from the world after all. My voice was weak and my jokes were crappy, but at least I had friends who'd laugh with me. I'm going to take Michi's body for cremation immediately after this. Anyone who has something to say to her, write a letter and put it inside. I'm sure she'll read them in heaven. Seems like you, she really does plan to kill me. In that case, for the end, I want to talk to him again. I see everyone's face one more time before I go. If I can't make that request right now, I can't even tilt my head slightly. No matter how I, act, how I try, my body just won't listen. It's like everyone's, every muscle and nerve in my body has gone on strike at once. Can't do nothing but lie still on my back. I've got enough it's related, but my thoughts are moving very sluggishly as well. It's like though someone spun a network of thick spider webs inside my mind. Every thought will slowly push its that to s has to slowly push its way through those clingy strands. Gonna write anything, Sakaki. Why? You don't have anything to tell her? See, still doesn't change the fact that this is your last chance. Don't leave yourself any regrets. Well, that's your decision to make. Don't say any more. Market reaches inside the box and places a letter next to my face, then reaches over to stroke my cheek. Rance, so small. I didn't expect such a tender gesture from Makina, who's always been like a rambunctious little sister. It kind of startles me. <laughs> it's ominous voice, you hear the voice. You hear the side of the box creaking slightly as she leaves the letter next to me. There's a chest leaning against the chest at the edge of the coffin. I kind of wish I'd been a little more like her in that department. <laughs> Not again. appropriate thought for the current situation. <laughs> But you're currently you're currently being directly faced with your own mortality and your own thought is like man I wish I had bigger tits <laughs> uh, She's got priorities They're not very good ones, but priorities. They sure are priorities I'm gonna catch a whiff of such a scent. Sure, you're all right with this cocky. I must admit. All right then, this is goodbye. I'm bad. I died. Well, up in shuddering darkness, I'm carted off somewhere. Probably crematorium, if Yuji was telling the truth. Guess I'm gonna be a pile of ashes in a little while. That's kind of a shame. I don't get to read the letters everyone went out of their way to write for me. I really did want to see their faces before the end. Why the fuck is he still going with it? I wanted to see Yuji's face. <laughs> Listen, the man is very, very faithful to his bit, okay? And very driven. When I was the one saying goodbye, I was able to prepare myself emotionally. But now the shoe's on the other foot, and I'm kind of at a loss. Then there's that girl. I feel bad about doing this to her. I was just giving her my body. I don't know what she's doing right now. Yumiko seems to have grabbed hold of the box and begun to shake it fiercely. I can hear her nails scratching against the wooden lid. Don't interfere, Skaki. Get off. Appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry. 
I never heard Yumiko this upset before. It's even more surprising to learn that she has fears so similar to my own. Rumbling now I feel like Yumiko's route is going to be miserable. I mean, if I remember everything correctly, it's not going to be that miserable. Oh, it's, oh. Anyways, uh, the rumbling of the wheels begins, takes on a different tenor. You've left the building. Let me tell you some issue. That isn't the end. First of all, the people you left behind have to set, try and say goodbye. The idea that you can just vanish into thin air is a load of self centered crap. Understand that you want to disappear before you die, I expect you to go through a proper procedure. Can't wrap your life up neatly all by yourself. That's naive or responsible thinking. If you're just aware that I'm conscious, but no matter how hard I try to move my mouth, I can't answer him. It seems to be growing gradually more difficult to breathe. I'm trying to suffocate inside the box before I get burnt to death. Thought floats idly through my head like a soap bubble. I wonder if Yuji has his license. A moment later, it pops and vanishes. Since I found myself in this box, I've been thinking about a whole lot of really pointless things. <laughs> Could she really? Yo, yo, I hope he's not driving illegally, my man. It'd be really awkward if my funeral driver suddenly got pulled over. <laughs> yep. Why are you carting around a corpse? <laughs> I don't worry about it. She's still alive uh, for now. <laughs> you can imagine this is a current up on explanation. <laughs> See the water that they're writing up now. Like, is that, is that again? <laughs> like they just, they just like look at the truck. Like, is that a dead body? No. Listen, buddy, you, 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 you that excuse ain't happening. I, I'm looking at her right now. And I'm telling you that it's not a dead body. It's alive. She's alive. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive for now. Things I wouldn't even have thought about before I fell my head to the brim. This must be what it's like to be paralyzed. The body's asleep and the mind's awake. A mold for as a bound hand and foot, though there's no rope wrapped around me. I'll bury you in your favorite place. My body jerks up inside the cramped coffin, helpless to resist the shocks of transport. Maybe this is what it feels like to be a chocolate sitting in a box of candy. You were always talking about it, weren't you? That'll be your official place of death. All that about the crema cremation was a lie. This was the plan from the start. Incidentally, your body can't move because of a hypnotic suggestion I gave you. Not to worry, though, it won't last much longer. Another thud echoes through the coffin. The sound of the outside world grew fainter. I don't really have any regrets, but I wish I could have seen Yuji's face at the end. I wish I knew what my face looked like when you saw me. saw it for the last time. This is... World... Shed for... Have a nice... Th in there. E... Me... Ye Kind of like um, the beginning of Iron Lung, where the transmission begins to cut out, and the uh, announcer says, "Either good luck or goodbye." Oh. I've never actually watched yeah. that now, so I don't know that. <laughs> I know you a played Iron bit. Lung. I know no. a little bit of Iron Lung. Yeah. You haven't seen all the lore surrounding it, courtesy of Markiplier and the rest. No. I actually have seen a lot of the lore, but I forget most of it. Yeah. It's very interesting lore. The, the fan-made stuff for it is fantastic, actually. I know, it's so good. And there's a movie coming out, he's making a movie. Yeah, Mark Plus doing the film on it, it's great. I wonder if there's going to be more lore in the movie because uh, of... Yeah, because, yeah, David Sismansky's working on it with him as well. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm wondering. So I almost want to go see it when it drops, because there's probably going to be a lot more lore in there. Yeah. My body can't move, I can't speak, can't see a thing. The inside of my head throbs painfully, but I get bumped against a box and 
some point on the way here. An expected wave of powerful exhaustion rolls over me. I can't even think about whether to resist before I'm dragged down in the sleep. Or so I think. I mean, the darkness still shows as thick when whether my eyes are open or shut. I don't have any way to track the passage of time. I sleep for a while. I just closed my eyes for a moment. There's no way I could tell in here. I can hear the sound of my own breathing from multiple angles at once. It's echoing off the walls of the box. I make up my mind to try huh. and speak. My voice works. Does that mean my body can move as well? As an experiment I've tried to lift my arm. <coughs> there was a small movement when my eye elbow bangs against the wooden wall right away. I can move, but it looks like I'm going to have to do so pretty carefully. Low inside my box, I laugh at myself. Carefully? What's the point of that now? All I need to do is lie still anyway. I'm just gonna die in here no matter what I do. Call his name, but the sound only makes it a few inches from my face before striking solid wood and rebounding back. In this terrifyingly cramped space, the four walls themselves seem almost like living things, consciously observing me. Vangs cling to my forehead, dab with sweat. I reach up to fix them, bang my elbow against the wall again, once again. This is a fuck. It. I, by the way, I hate this. Just not because, like, oh no, it's poor Michi. No, like, I ha I've had nightmares about this situation, and I <laughs> fuck all of that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... After carefully twisting my body around, I finally managed to brush the hair back into place, but nobody can see me. Not even me. Well, why would I even bother? My back's sticky with per perspiration. It's clammy and gross. Really uncomfortable. As my dulled nerves slowly rouse themselves, I begin to notice a number of dull aches spread around my body. So it's not just pain that's starting to tug at my senses, but also hunger. I suddenly mouth the words I'm starving to no one in particular. Maybe I'll die of hunger before my oxygen runs out. I wonder just how painful death by starvation is comparatively. I think I saw some tasteless list about the most painful ways to commit suicide somewhere. But right now I can't remember the details. Too bad Yuji isn't here. I'm sure he'd give me a thorough rundown. Probably a little too thorough. The sweat trickles down my forehead. Trickling down my forehead is starting to get into my eyes. It stings. When I lick my lips, it leaves a salty taste in my tongue. What am I doing here? Here in here again? My thoughts are all tangled up like an old-fashioned telephone cord. I'm thirsty. Of course, I don't have any drinking water. I try forcing myself to swallow some saliva. Saliva doesn't do, but it doesn't do much good. <laughs> Startled by the sudden ringing sound, I end up smacking my arm hard against the side wall. I feel my heart pounding furiously away. <laughs> the vibrations seem to be coming from everywhere and nowhere. The air resonates with shrill electronic chirping. After hunting clumsily around for a time, I finally discover a cell phone ringing right next to my ear. <laughs> Hmm, sounds like you're still alive. The instant I hear his voice, I feel tears running down my face. What is this emotion? It's no relief, exactly. I can't pin it down. Quite pin it down. Yuji. There's your final choice. That phone can only be used to contact me. Just press 1 on the speed dial. Won't be able to get through to anyone else, and the other functions are disabled as well. It won't even display the time. You decide that you want to live? Call me. That's all. You. Even though I forced myself into a painfully contorted position to answer the phone, he's already hung up on me. I didn't listen to a word I had to say. It would be really awkward if in this contorted position she like f accidentally drops the phone and suddenly can't reach anymore. That'd be fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's just the way the guy is, yeah. So I'll leave with a phone like this. That one makes me smile a little. But at least I got to hear Yuji's voice at the end. It's better this way. I hug, hug the phone close as though cradling a precious treasure and close my eyes. Mm. Huh? I fell asleep again. Instinctively flip open the phone in my hand, but just like you just said, the time isn't displayed. Can't even guess how long I was sleeping. I've gotten used to the darkness by now that the phone's LCD display seems blatantly bright. When I turn my face to the side to escape the dazzling light, I notice the letters everyone wrote lying next to me. With the backlight for illumination, I make out the characters clearly enough. I screw my body around some time to get into position and open the first envelope and take out the letter inside.
死んだりしてしまったんですかこれは本当に困るのでもう今度からは絶対やめてくださいチルチルとしたかった遊びがまだたくさんあったのにすごく面白いのにそれを知らずに死んでしまうなんてもったいないです内緒にしてたけどチルチルと一緒に見たかった景色だってありますすごく綺麗なのにそれを知らないままなんてダメですまだたくさんのことが残っているこの場所を置いていってしまうなんてそれはいけないことです今までありがとうでもやっぱりこんなのはおかしいマキーナ You can definitely tell she was flustered when she wrote in it. Next one with a little pull from the little pile of zamanas. Michiru, eh? Go stay, Michiru, new otegami, or kakunomo. Say so de saigo ni narun desne. Mada kimochi no seri or tskanai keredo. Kokoro no kori ni naru to iana no de kakimas. Michiru ga tsundere ja nai te koto wa. Wakatte i mashita. Dakara, it's mo muri stay nai ka simpai stay mashita. Daishobu ka natte omotte mashita. ミチルは自分よりも他人を第一に考えるようなところがあったよね気づいていないと思ってるだろうけどちゃんとみんな分かってたよミチルは無理はしていませんか天国に行ったミチルが無理をせずに自分のしたい通り自由な姿でいられればいいなって思っています。私は今のこの状況を受け入れることが難しいです。以前、入院でミチルがここからいなくなったとき、リョウは寂しい雰囲気になりました。私も普通でいようとしたけれど、心にぽっかりと穴が開いたようで、この穴を塞ぐのにどれぐらいの時間がかかるのかわからないけど、ずっと。このままなのかもミチルのことは絶対に忘れませんご苦労様でしたミチルはみんなの大事な友達であり私にとってもかけがえのない存在です今までもそうだったしそれはこれからもずっと変わりませんこんなことは恥ずかしくて面と向かって言えなかったけどミチルのことを大切に思っていました安らかに眠ってくださいアマネあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ There's only one letter left now, such as. Michiru Sama, I was a Michiru Sama to Mata Eruto Motemas. Dakara, Wakare no Kotoba Kakimase. Michiru Sama no Koto, Watashiwa Mateimas. Sakaki Samo Mateimas. Amane Samo. Maki Chamo Mateimas. Mochiro, Kazami Sandate Sono Hazdes. Minaga. ミチル様のことを待っているんですではまたお会いする日までサチ you read these simple words I remember you make her breaking down in tears so I really had a character for her to get that upset and it felt like she was keeping her distance from me so why did you try あれ震えてる Yes, my hand is beginning to quake slightly and though I'm not exactly cold and my teeth are starting to chatter I can't make them stop The letter was not carefully word arranging. None of them were. We scratched them down in just a few short minutes after all. 
For some reason, no matter your words, I just feel like my heart's being squeezed in my chest. I won't be able to laugh with them ever again. We'll exchange hellos in the morning. We can have one of our stupid conversations. It all felt so normal before, but now it's gone forever. It's almost like I've only just realized that. When I think about it, the hard it is to control my trembling hands. At first, it was a little more than wild, mild fidgeting. But right now, I'm shaking so hard, it's almost like a convulsion. My own body feels strange and alien to me. Powerless to stop the trembling, I just observe, I just observe it dumbly. Even after a few minutes, there's no sign. The quivering movements are likely to stop anytime soon. I decide to try thinking about something now. <laughs> well, where Yuji is right now. What he's thinking about. Call me on the phone, so maybe he wants to see me again. Maybe he wants to talk to me again. And see him if he deals with it. <laughs> In that instant, the light on the LCD screen vanishes as the cell phone abruptly shuts itself <laughs> off. <laughs> I press the on button over and over, but the screen only lights up for a few seconds at a time before turning off again. After a while, even that stops. The phone goes entirely dead. One thin thread of salvation dangling down from above has just been completely severed right before my eyes. I really am all alone, here, inside the dark, heavy earth. All of a sudden, my fuzzy thoughts snap into sharp-edged focus. I've been floating along as if in a dream, but this all feels terribly real now. Distinct, vivid terror of death overwhelms me. <laughs> The hysterical voice echoes wetly and pointlessly around the coffin. Some part of me didn't really understand what dying meant, but after reading everyone's letters and losing my only way to contact Yuji, it's suddenly all too real, all too clear, all too terrifying. The fuse grabbed hold of my ankles and wouldn't let go. I can't get out of here, I really can't. I'll never see the light again. I feel like I'm about to go crazy. <laughs> Feel around the interior of the box with clumsy panicked hands, searching for some sort of exit. But of course, there's no such thing. There are places in the lid where the material feels like slightly different, but nothing happens when I strike them. In the first place, I can't position myself properly in this cramped little box. The hard planks rub against me with every movement. I feel the rough pain of the torn skin, a hot trickle of blood oozing out of my wounds. I don't like this. Again, this is literally my nightmares. Why would why would why would you should do this? He's a bad person. I mean, to be fair, his task was literally making a fucking nihilist want to live. He like, this is a person so that ways. staunchly believed she wanted to die, and his mission statement was to get this person to want to continue living. The only real we way to accomplish that is to make her believe uh, that she's dead. Or going to die in a way where she realizes, oh shit, I don't want to die. is exactly my, like my own floats in the darkness before my eyes. I'm just hallucinating was the other me somehow taken on form. でも死にたいのよ。だけど それがうまくいかないと分かった時、あなた本心彼に伝えた。逃げたい。死んでしまいたいって。だけど間違ってる気がしてきて。このまま勝手に死ぬなんて。いけない気がしてきたの。それがわがままだって分かってる。もうお願
今の私は何もすることができない私はただ君と一緒にいるだけ行動するのは君そうだよね私がやらなきゃいけないんだよね You're the man staring into my eyes, your face steady and calm, not even blinking. Kimi wa hontou ni dare kara mo ai sare tei nakatta. Kimi wa hontou ni dare kara mo hitsuyo to sare tei nakatta. Yoku kangaite, watashi wa ikite ita katta no ni. Fui ni sore ga owatte shimatta. Kimi wa gonna ni mawari kara ai sare tei iru no ni. Naze inochi o somatsu ni suru no. そうしない続けてきたからこれからもそうなるのが怖くて君をどうにかできるのは君だけだからそれが無理ならこのままずっと暗い闇の中にいなさい私は私だって心残りぐらいあるでも我慢してそうするしかないと思ってる誰かに期待されたいのなら誰かに消えてほしくないと思うのならまず君が自分自身を引き出しなさいそして自分を大切にしなさい誰かのためじゃなくて自分のために生きなさい For my own sake, never even tried. I'm always, I'm always working for someone else's sake. I'm always failing, I'm always falling short of their expectations. I'm always an effective human being. In that instant, the phone begins to ring, even though the battery will definitely be, it was definitely dead. Two electronic warbling bounces around the inside of the box. Grope around and hold, grab hold of it. Screen and the incoming light are, light are still dark. The sound of the call continues as loudly as before. And I mash my thumb on the general area of the answer, but the ringing stops, so I bring the phone to the ear. Enduring the pain from the festering and miserable wounds the past left me. Even when I met someone new, I found myself thinking about what happened before, biting my lip when they weren't looking, disappointing I'll be over it someday. <laughs> Timidly try to stretch out my hand, the door leading to the future is heavy and cold to the touch. I want. みんなともう一度話したいもしそれがいつか終わってしまうことだとしてもその場にみんなといたいよ私だって幸せになりたいよ I strained forcefully against the door and it opens before me Lead me to this place 一連ようやく来てくれたね Voice takes my breath away. Even after all this time, I don't mistake that voice. It's my friend, the girl I went to the other side. Welcome here, didn't you? Let's go together. It's a friend. 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 It's a The voice draws nearer, accompanied by something that seems to be formed out of pitch black mist. 
I draw back and step a step into the other side. Do you want to get in? 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 I don't hate you. I like you. I like you. So, we'll be together for a long time. Yes. We'll be together. Let's go. Let's go. The violet plume of smoke coils itself tightly around my arm. Sharply cold against my skin, like fog rising from dry ice. We'll be together for a long time.誰にも邪魔されないね。本当に幸せだよ。ごめんね。ごめんってどういうこと？私のこと嫌いになったの？違う。大好きだよ。今でも大好き。一番大好きのお友達だもん。だったらどうしてそんなこと言うの教えて。それはね。それは。あなたは。過去の人だからだよ。<laughs> Hold on, let's cut up, cut up the cheese again. Something of a juxtaposition there, really. Also, unless I'm very much mistaken, the original version of this game had a silhouette of the uh, previous casualty. Oh yeah, it's... I don't think they can show the fucking the goddamn bloody pulp on the ground on the Steam version. I don't think it even had that in the original version, as I recall. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. いつまでも後ろを向いているわけにはいかない。私を忘れるっていうの？忘れない。絶対に忘れない。でも嫌なことがあった時にあなたのことを思い出して、あなたがいないからダメなんだって。そういう意見のあなたのことは絶対に忘れない。でもこれ以上一緒にはいられない。わからないよ。私にはわからない。どうして一緒にいられないのかわからない。ねえ、みんながミチルを叩いたり、悪口を言ったり、バカにしたり、そんな世界よりも私と一緒に何の悩みもない世界にずっと一緒にいよう。I seem to have picked up a phone at some point. No, I was holding this all along. The battery's dead and, I can't con and it can't con connect me to anyone. Right now, this is the only thing tying me to the other world. <laughs> and finds the knob and the invisible door. That's why I can't follow you on the road, Ichiro. でも、一緒に死ぬことは友情じゃない。それは友達の証なんかじゃない。
本当の友情は今一緒に生きている友達を大切にすることだと思う今一緒にいる友達のために泣けること今いる友達と笑えることそれが友情だと思うそしてあなたは大切な思い出として心の中にしまっておくさようなら I had to leave, but Nana doesn't want to turn. So stubborn, it feels like it's fused in place. So I keep on twisting on with it. T quit twisting at it with all the strength. <coughs> all the strength I can muster. That's no good either, so I simply start hitting the door as hard as I can. More blood spills from my hands with every strength, but I keep right on going without so much as a flinch. <laughs> Somehow I managed to force open the lid of my prison. In the next instant, a mixture of sh shockingly cold air and damp earth streams down from the into the box. The little body has been pressed down on the palm of a giant who can't move. <coughs> Spit up the dirt that's fallen from my mouth and try to open my eyes. I've never seen the sky from under the ground before. I feel like the seedling of some bizarre plant. <laughs> I want to go down a whole lung full of fresh air, but I can't mus manage that either. The hole I was buried in doesn't seem to be as, as deep as I thought, but hunger and exhaustion have left me too weak to push my way free. That's how I'm managing to speak. I struggle to crawl up to the heavy, wet soil. No matter how much I strain my tired muscles, I can't move. <laughs> Writhing with, like an insect, I desperately try to get at least my face above ground. My endurance has already run out. Drowsiness, hunger, and loneliness push murderously down on me. This really is it for me. I'm going to end here, drowned in the, drowned in the mud. I couldn't manage to kill myself when I wanted to, and now I'm gonna die when I wanna live? Seriously? What an idiot. See, I told you I was stupid. But if I have to die, I wanna die touching the world. Push my fingers up through the dirt with my last ounce not of strength. Idiot. From a natural point of, neutral point of view, it must look like the feeble stirrings of some puny little sprout. One that's picked an odd time or year to surface. Deep in the soil, I slowly, weakly extend my index finger up towards the sky. Touch the outside air for the first time, and who knows how long. Startlingly, wonderfully cool. A few centimeters of my fingers are in contact with the world. But that's enough. It's enough to tell me that I'm alive. Soft, quiet raindrops wet my fingertips. I've already cried myself dry, so maybe the sky is shedding tears in my place. Oh. <laughs> my eyelids fall like wel melting wax running down a candle, falling shut so heavily that it feels like they'll never open ag ever open again. Begin to slowly, peacefully disappear. That was quick. It's only been 11 hours since I buried you. For all that pig-headed whining about wanting to die, this is all you've got. No guts, woman. He just buried someone alive. He's making fun of him. How dare you? I mean, it was effective. He has accomplished what needed accomplishing. Mm -hmm. he, he could have done it so many other ways. Has he ever tried therapy? You think she did not undergo therapy when she went to fucking hospital after her friend killed herself? In front Try of her? It again. I don't think it works Try on medication. It <laughs> when it didn't work the first time, you think it's gonna work when she got that on her plate and a dead cat? Maybe. This bitch is... This bitch would be at home with the creators of the Binding of Isaac right about now. <laughs> yeah, she's actually one of the devs of the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> I pull up Michiru up out of the earth. She's got a somewhat surprised expression on her face. Understandable, I suppose. Yuji, why are you here? This isn't a dream. That's reality. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, come to your senses yet? 
You know, I tried to explain the whole thing. I doubt the girl would understand right now. I decided to keep it simple. I knew it would turn out like this. That's why I did what I did. I knew all along that you didn't really want it to disappear or die. So I sat here and waited for you to break out of that shell. I was just your assistant on this one. Here to lend the hand in the most literal sense. Strongly squeeze Michio's trembling hand. I was waiting here the whole time. I was planning to keep on waiting as long as it took you to come out of that box. Speaking, speaking of which, I could have sworn that the original waiting time that they put in the um, original version of the game was three days. There's no way she fucking survived that. Yeah, no, that that is not a thing. It could just be me misremembering badly. She would You're, fucking uh, suffocate. Maybe from the, maybe the anime did that for some retarded reason, but no, but like it, it, it is maybe that's not where a I'm day. Remembering it from. Like she would already have died from dehydration at this point. Yeah. Or suffocation. Well, I assume that Yuji left Yuji's like a fucking you would have like done. some form of access to oxygen, so she doesn't fucking yeah. die to that. Yeah, as a matter of I trivia, as a matter of trivia, um, in Victorian England, there was a method of uh, oh, adding yes. a yeah yeah the warning bell with a ventilation shaft next to it in case anyone got accidentally buried alive. Mm -hmm. Because that was a fear they had back in the day of getting buried yeah. alive. Yeah, there's a fear I have today. Bitch. Yeah. It's also a plot point in uh, a novel involving 40k Legion of the Damned. Who knows? I hadn't thought about it, but I couldn't exactly wander off. That ventilation tube I quietly installed for you had, had gotten clogged with bugs or something. You'd have suffocated in less than 30 minutes. Oh, there's our answer. That oh, was no plan answer. B. Kind of a half-assed strategy, granted, but it seems to have worked out. That's right. That's right. When I saw that line, I first thought, Are you kidding? Domino's delivers everywhere. <laughs> like, yeah, listen, you, I, you, listen I, you have no idea how much I had to suffer with food. I had to order Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> we all had to go out of KFC. <laughs> I locked you up inside a box and stuck you in a hole. You expect me to complain about my stomach grumbling? Anyway, half a day is nothing to worry yourself about. Barely worse than getting stood up for a date. Anyways, that's enough pointless fact talk. Let's get going. That's right. That's right. Peach's eyes had resembled dull, cloudy marbles for long, so long that I almost forgot how they that 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 had almost forgotten they could sparkle like this. Like you can also see like this he did not bury her deep. Yeah. That is maybe like a fucking five centimeter deep burial at best. Uh, though I will have to say at the same time, it looks like the fucking, like from here, it looks like the fucking coffin is like also five centimeter high. So clearly the dimensions are kind of fucked. Yeah, maybe just parallax. Mm. Oh, the way we're looking at it, but who knows? Yeah, yeah, save it for later. Mm. <laughs> Well, wow, well, this is all very sudden. Can't say I've ever had a woman covered head to toe in mud confess her love to me before. Valuable well, experience, to be sure. Uh, but a couple, uh, weren't you afraid of, of the end? You're right with, are you right with the, all right with the fact that we might have to say goodbye someday? Mm. <laughs> Try hard to what exactly? <laughs> now, it, it would be hilarious if he, uh, like the, it, the others weren't acting and actually thought she died and he did not warn them before at all. 
coming back, so he just comes back into the dorm. Hey guys, I learned necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu, reduce, reuse, reanimate. <laughs> I'm very, I'm a very av avid recycler. <laughs> Made sure to learn necromancy and blood magic to make use of every part of the body. <laughs> it's kind of like, kind of like the meme of Your Honor. I present to you, by virtue of a necromancer, the victim himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you laugh at that, but that is essentially what happens sometimes in Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that, that, that shit actually happens because there, uh, there is fucking spirit channelers in the game, and the game itself makes sure there's an excuse for them not be able to just ask the victim who killed them, because literally part of the story is that Maya's mom, Misty Faye, did that at some point for a case where they literally were getting desperate because nothing, because no fucking evidence was shown, and she channeled the ghost of the murdered victim and the victim uh, and proceeded to say at the at the ghost of the victim proceeded to say the wrong guy murdered him because it was a case of a locked locked room mystery and the murderer oh. shot in from the outside which the victim couldn't have known hmm and hence, spirit mediums aren't acceptable evidence anymore. Of course, that is until, like, deprived bullshit in Phoenix Wright 2. But that's not important right now. See? Sounds fairly promising. I'm getting the feeling we might be able to stay together for a good while. Yeah, <laughs> Yuji. What now? Yuji no koto ga suki. I got the message the first time. Well, it looks like the girl still got some energy left, at least. Hoisting Michi onto my back, I slowly carry her down the road leading back to the dorm. You did a good, Michi. Welcome back to the world you belong in. A little after two in the morning, I guess. The witching hour, as they say. Come to think of it, try not to make a habit of rising it's out of the ground in the middle of the night. People might take you for a zombie. What did you say, bud? That's 3 a.m. I was about to say, Close I enough. is not coming out of the uh, undergrowth just yet. <laughs> With a oh, really look on her face. <laughs> Indeed, it's cocky, bro. would have pissed herself. <laughs> Long as it wasn't something I thought about, I know you'd well enough to know that you'd find the strength to live all on your own. But worst case scenario I planned for wasn't you never coming out, was you coming out after even more time had passed. Well, Misha seems a bit confused, but then the answer come, seems to come to her on its own. Suddenly she starts squirming around in my back and looking anxiously around the area. We've got two possible emergency countermeasures. First, we could stop that adventure. It's a bit regrettable from an environmental perspective, but I think Mother Earth will understand. <laughs> what, you were about to toss your life away, weren't you? Surely you can withstand a little humiliation. <laughs> All right then, second option. You could always make use of the public facilities just past that bank. <laughs> Michio abruptly leaps down and takes off at a clumsy sprint. Well, seems her body's in no hurry to die at least. <laughs> Spotting us, Sachi stops brushing the sidewalk in front of the gate and approaches with a beaming smile on her face. As for Michu, after returning from the restroom with a profoundly relieved expression, she hopped right back onto my back for the walk home. What on earth are you doing up at this hour? Hmm, <laughs> so it would seem. But it's a little late for that. 
いつ誰が帰ってきてもいいようになるべく遅くまで働いているんです特に今日はっていうかサチ私を見て驚かないのはいでも私はみちる様が亡くなったなんて信じていませんでしたし絶対に戻ってくるって思っていましたから。Who wants to bet that she noticed that she was breathing in the coffin? But that's the only reason she knew. Yeah, notice that little difference. Either way, she gives off the impression of having the same. Hmm, not entirely surprising, I suppose. How do things stand currently? The school teacher said, No problem, Kazami Kun. I was surprised. I was surprised, but Sakaki and Amane were always dropping off. Maki-chan was the shadow of the shadow. She was able to get the shadow of the shadow. I'm sorry for the trouble. I'll have to explain everything to you all later. I'll have to explain everything to you all later. I'll have to embrace myself for Slapper 3. That's right. ささお疲れでしょうからお風呂へどうぞちゃんとお掃除してありますからね。Appreciate it, you really are a maid among maids, aren't you? It's like I meet you, I turn to enter the premises, but before I can take a step, the girl shifts her position on my back and speaks. ありがとう。私のこと待っててくれて。いいえ、みちる様こそ戻ってきてくれてありがとうございました。Falling off cheese. Cheese. Today I'm back. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Mitchell. Are you sure? I'm going to sleep soon. Are you sure? Is it too early? Yes, that's right. Let's go. 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 You're filthy. I'll bring a change of clothes here. Focus on getting the dirt off for now. Everything else can wait until after. Mm. What's wrong? Be alone, being alone too scared? Hmm. Okay. Because Yuji will definitely come back to see you. The girl smiles a little awkwardly as she speaks. I give her a quick pat on the head and then make my way down to the, her room to obtain a fresh change of clothes. That said, I don't know where anything else in here is. These are the ones she's always wearing. Well, that works. Already out of the bath. That was fast. I brought you a change of clothes. <laughs> Body wrapped up in a towel I left in the changing room. Each just shuffles around. <laughs> Not right now. I need to arrange a medical checkup. <laughs> That's right. Oh, do I smell some? Amicia has insisted I consent to bathe. From the perspective of a freshly washed woman, I must seem exceptionally unsanitary at the moment. Might have been a little inconsiderate on my part. Not time for a leisurely snuggle. I'll have to go a quick shower. But just as I'm finishing up, Amicia comes in as well. Hello there. Talk about taking a pat bath of your clothes? Maybe you've got something. And stand there, but could you wait five minutes for me to come out of the shower? You're real handful. All right, we're doing this very quickly. Michi rubs a bar of soap against the washcloth and slowly and carefully works up a nice lather. Christmas. The girl proceeds to wash every nook and cranny on my back. Nice gesture, but all five. But after five minutes straight of scrubbing, it starts to feel like she's overdoing it a little. All right, that's good enough. Goshi, 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 goshi. I told you it's good enough. Cut it out already. Nada. I'm sorry, I'm not ready to go now. Finally, banding her washcloth, Michi leans against my back and rubs, wraps her arms around me. Must have been pretty lonely down there. I'm not going anywhere, Michi. I'm 
imagine if after this they like both sleep in his room and Amin like realizes oh his shoes are here let's check uh, check on him and she opens the room to, the, the door to his room and just sees him lying in bed with Michu while thinking that Michu is dead still <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> Yuji <laughs> <laughs> oh no don't give oh. Cactus more absurd ideas. Oh no! That's a nice CG. Mm -hmm. Of course, you never get this in the original version. Oh yeah, in the original, I... she's probably naked. Uh, no, actually, this wasn't included at all. Oh, so, oh, so instead of washing the back, she just starts to slobber his knob. Uh, well, yeah, it is. It is obviously leading up to an H scene. Yes, that that's nice. This is the nice thing about um, Chris. We got some nice H scenes out of losing all not not nice H scenes. Nice H, -H scene out of losing the H scenes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some nice CGs out of losing the H scenes at least. This is true. Turn around and take me by the wrist and draw her to me. Yuji. <laughs> Instead of answering, I press my lips to hers. Oh, this sort of thing isn't bad every once in a while. Can't stand people who say they've saved someone with a little kindness. Human beings exist within their own private bubble of solitude. Our pain and sadness can't be cured by gentle words. Offering gestures of sympathy can make you feel good about yourself, but for the recipient, it's meaningless at best. People don't need to need a crutch or a savior. They need to be over overcome their own suffering or find strength to accept it. And when someone who needs help getting to that point, when someone needs help getting to that point, I'm willing to lend a hand. Of course, that doesn't mean I go to the around offering my support to every sad sack I run into on the street. I'm not some hypocrite politician or cult leader. What distinguishes the people I willingly assist from those I don't? Hmm. Well, sure, if there is any clear criteria really, other than whim. I suppose if I just feel like it. And when it comes to the young lady currently sleeping at my side, barely pondering the reason why I helped her, that doesn't produce a convincing answer. But that's just the way human beings are. No matter how logical we are, analyze our motives, no matter how thoroughly we investigate the context of our actions, no matter once in a while, every once in a while, we'll end up running smack dab into the incomprehensible. I comment on how mindful this particular matter may or may not be, but I'm not unhappy with the way things turned out. In any case, the tricky part comes next. And so? <laughs> yep. ずかしながら松島みちる帰ってまいりました。ゾンビだ、ゾンビだ。え、ゾンビ、どこどこ、ゾンビパウダーどこどこ。なんだ、チラチラじゃん。おかえり。ただいま。<laughs> I think she just died. <laughs> I think that squeak was the sound of the fucking motor that is her heart just stopping. Dying. Just suddenly <laughs> stopping there. <laughs> just the only thing. <laughs> hey, I'm home. <laughs> just you hear the uh, sound of of a collision that sounds similar <laughs> to a head against corner of a table. どうしてなぜに? <laughs> 
These ones. I pinch Michio's face and stretch her cheeks out to both sides. Makita trots over and begins poking at Michio's chest like a housewife prodding at a shrink wrapped piece of produce. Ichiro and Makina linked their little fingers together, watching as they swear their oath on the heave every sigh of surrender. わかったわよ。確かに奇跡の復活で帰ってきた。それは良かった。これ以上喜ばしいことはない。無理やりに納得するわよ。でも。私にも約束しなさい。どんな約束それはもちろん。もう絶対に二度と死んだりしないって。うん。もう死なない。今度死んだら、ぶっ殺すからね。うん。今度死んだら、ぶっ殺される。そうだね。<笑><笑> Yeah, she was the first one to know. We ran into her on the way back. <laughs> She's still on about those. Same as that ever was. <sighs> Better give them proper apologies later. Oh, oh. So Michi returned to her friends and, and her school. She was completely freed of her dependence on medication and that bizarre tune that egg. Spends the rest of her school days as a normal girl, six pennants hanging on the wall of her room. A little too neat a conclusion, unfortunately. Uh, honestly, Michio's managed to finally face up to one of her multiple problems, nothing more. <laughs> no, not surrounded as a fully legitimate date. <laughs> Because you told me to plan the date, and I decided to run a little short distance sprinting. Listen, the act of running isn't just. Ah, boy! Yes, I understand. Yes, that's it. I'm the one who you and I arrive at a certain high spot overlooking the sea. A place that holds many memories for us. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, you haven't turned to anyone else since you came back. Something to celebrate, right? For some reason, it doesn't look like she's entirely convinced of that. What do you mean? I don't know if she's still alive. I don't know if she's still 
決して消えたわけじゃないそれなのに出てこないなんてそれで本当にこれっきりでいいのかな Reach out and wipe the sweat from Michu's cheek with a hand towel. Went over this before I buried you and told the girl straight out that if she re you regained the courage to live, she probably wouldn't have the chance to come out again. And she told me that was alright with her.、Uh, she understands that body belongs to you. There's nothing to feel guilty about. Maybe it's all my fault, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. すごく気になるよねえユージ直接彼女にそれを聞いてみてくれないかなミチュー、マイフレンド、You've only just managed to regain control of yourself Why go out of your way to... 分かってる分かってるけど私だけ幸せになんてなれないよ彼女のこと最初は嫌いだったけど本当に私のために行動してくれただけだってことが分かったからそれにこの心臓は彼女からもらったものでしょうそのおかげでこうしてユージといられるんだしアビードスウェットダングリングフォンドトップオフノーズミチューステーズアップミーウィッグシリーズエクスプレッションのフェスティックスエフェクトキープアライスマーロンのオフマイフェスインウィッドスウィッドスウィッドスウィッドスウィッドスウィッドスウィッドスウィッドスウィッド But compared to forcing yourself to act out some character, I suppose it's nice to see her honestly expressing her feelings. Alright, if you insist, I'll try calling the girl out. I do have a method in mind. <coughs> Said when I used with your medicine, in other words, just a little manipulation of your assumptions. You? Instead of the simple magic show in Miju's room, the trick I have in mind, like most magic, amounts a little more to a bit of psychological misdirection. It's physically impossible to produce a coin from nothingness, and of course, you can't abruptly make one disappear either. Such illusions are made possible by manipulating your assumptions. Visual distraction leaves you convinced that the magicians carrying nothing are, in fact, to just move the something around where you can't see it. Everyone knows the basic idea, but it's surprisingly hard to overcome your mind's tendency to fill the gaps and fill in the gaps and jump to conclusions. Deliberately planting the wrong idea in someone's head isn't as difficult as it might sound. As Michu said, I don't think the girl's vanished. She's keeping to herself, that's all. I don't exactly reach in and grab her, so I'll have to trick her out. So, the only prop is a full length dressing mirror, and it's such a fetch for us. Didn't take long at all, so I'm guessing the bar she borrowed it from someone's room. That's right, there's all we need to pull this off. All right, Demetri, you'll start looking at yourself in the mirror. Keep staring at your own pupils. Don't even think about blinking, understood? I'll stay like this for a few hours. Keep it up, and you'll come out eventually, I'm sure of it. You're the one who wanted to make this happen. Can't even put in a little effort. Well, no skin off my nose if you want to quit. Okay, do it quietly. Honestly, I don't have a clue on where the staring into her own eyes is actually going to wake up the other girl. That's not really the point of this little exercise, though. By physically and mentally wearing Michiro out, I'm hoping to get her to a drowsy, half conscious state. It'll be easier for her alternate self to appear. Morris should do the rest. Stay folks, meet you. She'll come out any minute now. Just a matter of time. I'm not really convinced of that. Gotta keep up a consist constant chorus of firm declarations to the contrary. In other words, I'm forcing the idea that she's definitely going to wake up into meet you's mind. Hopefully my confident attitude will event eventually lead her to the surface. All of a sudden, some changes in meet you's face. It's a really subtle transformation, but the cast of her eyes seems slightly different. There you are, finally woke up, eh? We're close enough now that she's talking just like it's a done deal. She'll that We're close enough now that just talking like it's a done deal should finish things up. Mitch's unlocked the door and I've pushed it open. The girl, girl steps blinking into the light. Bingo! Knew, you could pull, knew I could pull this off. I thought that was him. Glad to see you again. I was not happy with you. 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 
この子の人生にもう私は必要ないんだから Now you're talking just the way Michi was before. Aren't you supposed to have a little more sense than her? もう私は出てきちゃいけないのに Michi called you here out of your own free will. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. Why hold back? Alright then, I'll give you a simple question. What are your regrets? Inside me, she was nestled inside her heart. I sink to thought. Why did it turn out like this? Why did I exist inside her? On the way back from school, I was badly hurt in some kind of traffic accident. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the other me, she knew is such is dead! What? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Sorry. <laughs> How does that work? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> On the way back from school, I was. Oh, wait a minute. Until then, I'd lived a very normal life, I think. Normal. I guess so. My grades were pretty decent, although I wasn't an honest student. We had fun with my parents sometimes, even ran away from home for a day or two or one, every once in a while. My family used to say some mysterious things when I was a little kid, but as I grew up, that stopped happening. It was someone I liked, although I'm not sure if it was just love, if it was love or just a crush. Never express those feelings. Don't really feel the need to. Just watching him from a distance made me happy enough. Then out of nowhere, that accident brought it all to an end. I don't know the details myself. I was just walking home after school one day when everything went black. When I came to, I was in the hospital. <laughs> Sharp smell of antiseptic solution and an off-white ceiling greeted me. My mind was sluggish and fuzzy, but I was awake. <laughs> Mom, what's mom doing here? What happened to me? My ears weren't quite working properly. I couldn't hear her voice that clearly. I wanted to ask all sorts of questions, but my voice didn't want to cooperate. Such as that, I couldn't move my body. What was going on? I almost felt like I'd been locked up inside a cramped little box. The doctor hurried into the room at the sound of mom's voice, shone a pen light in my eyes for a while, then shook his head in silence. When she saw that, my mom, mom started to cry. I didn't understand why she was sobbing so bitterly. I mean, I was perfectly conscious, so I thought I'd recover and be back to my normal life soon enough. But reality was very different from what I had imagined. Day after day, Mom sat at my bedside and squeezed my hand. Weeks more well passed, but I wasn't even sad I'd be able to go home next time soon. Yeah, I thought so too. Felt nice, really. I felt fine, really. I didn't have to leave the hospital right away. But even though I was really clear headed, I still couldn't manage to move even the tip of my tongue. I didn't understand that at all, my mouth was numb and immobile. My throat felt dry sometimes, but I couldn't do anything about it. I wanted to tell Mom how I felt. I couldn't speak, even moaning would be enough. But my body was completely switched off, quiet and still as a desert school building in the middle of the night. My classmates didn't come to visit. No, it's not entirely true. A few days after the accident, a group of girls I'd been friendly with did show up once. When they got a good look at me lying there in my bed, they grimaced. They weren't too obvious about it in front of my mom, but I noticed a subtle change in their attitude. They kept their distance for the whole visit, and it wasn't long before they left. As they walked away, I could see one of them mouthing the words, I hope I never end up like that. As my classmates left, mom gently struck my head, as if to reassure me that everything would be alright. I had no way of knowing what would happen to my body or the details of my condition. But from what the girls had said, I could tell it must have been pretty bad. Because Stan was busy with her since he only came to visit occasionally. If so, I was always happy when he did show up. But when Dad looked at me, he always had a really scary look on his face. His eyes were empty, completely emotionless. He looked down at me with the face of a man debating whether to throw away an old car can of herbicide from the back of his shed. Dad peered down and stood in my face. I really was glad to see him, but I didn't have any way to expre of expressing that happiness. Was he just fine? I can hear her voice. Love Dad, but was starting to think he hated me. Never used to love me, but hated me because of what had come. I knew what I looked like anymore, honestly. 
Once a week, Mom would wash my body with a wet cloth, and I'd love soaking in a bath. Yeah, so it really wasn't really satisfying by comparison. But since she was doing everything for me now, I well, didn't exactly have the right complaint. Not that I could have ever wanted to. What really impressed me was the soap she used. It was always lightly fruit scented. Mom knew that I'd been secretly buying fruit soaps using my pocket money. I just looked for them in my room and brought them to the hospital for me. My feelings about my parents began to change. Mom was nice, Dad was scary. One day, they started quarreling over some trivial thing right next to me. Son of my mom said something about wanting to take family trips again. Dad got irritated and started shouting at her. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to go to this place? I don't know. To be fair, her mom does seem to be escaping reality right now. Like, ah, uh, yes, let's take the vegetable to the, to the, to the uh, amusement mark, uh, park. park. うん、さあな。泣いてたことしか覚えてない。それに車椅子で連れて行くのか。遊園地に車椅子で行っている人は、ここたくさんいるでしょ。だがこいつはもう意識がないんだ。いいか。この子は他の子供とは違うんだよ
The dad just gave the machine a few light smacks and turned on his heel and left the room. Why didn't you kill me? I want to keep making everyone suffer like this. Please come back. Please kill me. My mom came in the next day. Her eyes were red. She struck Mayor for a long time in silence. Please, mom, you can stop the machine. Just kill me. There's no point in keeping me alive, is there? Or any other end like this? <laughs> Mom leaned in to kiss my cheek, but lost her balance and fell to the floor after nursing me in day, day in and day out for months. The accumulated fatigue must have finally overwhelmed her. I heard the loud thump of her body striking something hard, just as I was falling in an awkward way in the area where the bed was below my field of vision. I was frantic with worry, but she struck her head. I wanted to scream for help, but that was just impossible. It was beyond frustrating, it was torture. Pleasant warm sunlight streamed in through the open window and a gentle breeze stirred the curtains. I hear the voices of laughing children outside. It was a very peaceful day, the sort that slips easily by before you know it. And as the minutes trickled tra tranquilly by, past Mom lay on the floor of my hospital room. I couldn't see what had happened to her, but she wasn't moving. This can't be happening. Somebody come, please hurry. Please, please. Picturing myself thrashing around in bed, I tried desperately to squeeze out a sound, any sound, out of my mouth, but it was useless. I sat there, still as a stone. More than an hour later, Dad finally arrived. His face, a mask of shock. Dad scrambled to my bedside and picked Mom up in his arms. Her face was wet, her face was wet with white red blood. Dad carried Mom out of the room. Before he left, he turned on his shoulder and shot me an angry look. He blamed me for what had happened. You're wrong, Dad. This is your fault. I mean, none of this would have happened if you'd just killed me, wouldn't it? Following the accident, Dad took over the role of my caretaker, spent the days working on his laptop, never making eye contact with me. But after less than a week of this, the doctor came into my hospital room and began discussing something with Dad. Dad was clearly distressed. After brooding for several minutes, he nodded silently, accepting a pen from the doctor who slowly signed a number of documents. At night, Dad came right up to my side and watched my face for a long time. Hey, these, two, these two chips are fused. That's funny. Hold on, let me turn off the, on the camera again. They're fused. <laughs> double, double the crisp. Dad didn't take my hand and struck my head. It was going to be the last time I wanted him to touch me. And for a moment. Thank you, Dad. Dad stayed by my side until morning. I was really happy. In the end, he never held my hand. Next day, after milk for me, a doctor came to my room. He gave me a number of injections, stripped me naked, and carefully inje inspected my body. Dad stood silently by and watched. Mom wasn't there. In the end, Dad looked at me and said something, but I couldn't make out the words. I was loaded into a, onto a stretcher and carried to an operating room. My heart was going to be taken out of my body to save someone else. I'd be lying to say I had no regrets, but it didn't sound so terrible. A lot more appealing than lying around helplessly and making mom and dad miserable at least. No oh, matter how badly I wanted to move, my body was still. No matter how much I wanted to speak, I didn't talk, couldn't talk to anyone. I didn't want to exist like this. <laughs> That day in that operating room, I think I died once. I see, so then your heart was transplanted to be Chu's body.
だけどミチルに嫌なことが起こるとステージにスポットライトが当たるように私に光がさすのその光を手繰り寄せると私は彼女の体を動かせることが分かった彼女の体を動かせると知った時正直これはしてはいけないことだって思っただってこれは彼女の体だからもしそれが可能だとしても知らないふりをしてずっと暗闇で眠っていなければいけないんだってけど長い間ずっとベッドで動けなかった私にとって指を動かす声を出す視線をどこかに向けるという行為は快感とも言えるものだった体を自由に動かすことがこんなにも素晴らしいことだなんてわからなかったと思う。But the body of,、uh, you were moving was affecting yours, so an upstairs had a nasty, nasty sense of humor. I was in the middle of my life, and I was in the middle of my life. So, I was in the middle of my life, and I was in the middle of my life. I was in the middle of my life, and I was in the middle of my life. I was in the middle of my life, and I was in the m i d d 動けることが嬉しかっただけかもしれない。本当にミチルのことを思えば、あんなことをしちゃいけなかったのよ。余計に彼女を傷つけて、悩ませてしまっていたものね。Not intentionally, I did everything I could to ease that pain. ミチルの suffering hurt you too. そう、言ったでしょ私は悪者なんかじゃないのよ。Well, 純粋にミチルを助けたかっただけ。Why don't you want to return the favor? So let's talk about these regrets of yours, but which I mean, what do you want to do? Your parents, eh? Let's see, that's a wish, isn't it? 私の住んでいた場所は日本じゃないそれにこの姿であったとしても私だってわからないでしょ We're going to America! Which has been voiced with Japanese voices but we'll, we'll just ignore that <laughs> you know, the, the easiest way to learn another language just get, get your heart transplanted in someone else and a Japanese person or something <laughs> He shall squeeze the girl's hand tightly. Can't return it to her original form, but I can take it to her parents. That's what you want, though, I'll make it happen. After all, that's what Mitchell wants as well. <laughs> what about it? That's supposed to be a problem. And the issue I see is you're waffling. No, no, we don't have time to do this if you don't want. We, we don't have to do this if you don't want to, alright? You may regret it later, but it's your choice to make. So, what'll it be? <laughs> You've already made up your mind, haven't you? And you know you have. I'll give you two seconds to answer. There's your only chance. Ready? I didn't even start counting, but whatever. Yuji-kun, I stood、uh, stand by here for、uh, five minutes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why is this route specifically just Yuji giving, giving Chizuru a goddamn stress ulcer? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm happy about it. More, more cheese to do in my route, you know? You know, the only thing better than che more cheese to do in my route is more cheese to do in my bed, but you know. <laughs> of course you would. 
<laughs> you sound it's you, you I don't know why, but that the amount of disappointment you had in your voice there made you sound like the narrator in Slay the Princess. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm if I observe things as life's narrator. <sighs> Complete with the disappointment. Never mind, we are here. I mean, to be fair, literally the funniest thing you can do in Slay the, uh, Slay the Princess is just fuck with the narrator. <laughs> a bit like the Stanley Parable. Yeah, essentially. Really is. Oh, <laughs> そうよ、話は聞きました。ああ、もう、あんな言い方されたら私が断れないことしてて。なんてやつなのかしら。まさかあの弱みをついてくるなんて絶対に許さない。あの<笑><笑> パスポート向き替えも必要ないわ。観光じゃないならツアーガイドも必要ないでしょ。え、でも遊園地にも行きたいなら今回は我慢してね。そこまで楽しめるプランは組めないわ。ちょっと他は出したけど、ここで着陸
I'm gonna be going back in time for dinner. Uh, you came this far, so don't have That's to get shh. going. Mm. Take my sweet time just getting to the porch. Out of you has a moment, I reach up and put my finger on the doorbell, but I can't bring myself to press it. Minutes slide by as I stand there like a statue. I consider having you usually ring the bell in my place, but that would defeat the point of this visit. Even so, the tiny plastic button in front of me looks like some enormous intimidating gong. So the thing could hang by the gates to hell. <laughs> Maybe I can't do this. Maybe I'll just give up and crawl back in failure. <laughs> okay, count of three. Three thing dog. Yuji! San, just carpet on a rainy night. Eat that, isho. Interrupted Rudy. Been around to find myself face to face with mom. Wasn't supposed, wasn't just supposed to be inside the house? Oh, but I guess you can see the front door pretty clearly from the garden. Because I was just standing out here all this time. Maybe she thought I was some kind of suspicious character. She used to drive off door to door salesmen like this every once in a while when I was a kid, come to think of it. Can't say I expected her to be keeping that up at this age. Amusement, shock, station, happiness swells up in me all at once, fusing into an identifiable mass of emotion. Oh, yeah. あら、ごめんなさい。さっき生理の電話があったから、そいつかと思っちゃって。え、あの、そ、この場所にお客さんなんて珍しい。さ、中に入っておくれ。ああ、そのいえ、もうここで失礼します。うん。何か用があって来た
Don't you fucking lie to me, bitch. That's clearly just brown. Well. Oh. I'm answers that I was for voice like So yeah, だけどね、お父ちゃんも娘も心の中でしっかり生きてるからね。だから私は一人じゃないんだよ。ここで一緒なのさ。ここでね。Dumping her chest, mom smiles brightly at me. Don't know what to say, just sip my tea. このこんなことをお伺いするのも失礼かと思いますが。I forced a question out of my mouth. Feels like leaping at first and denying our fall. Mom leaves the room but returns only a moment later. There's a string of worn out Paper cr old paper cranes in her hands. Korene, Musumega Nunch Tatokini, Oto Changa Tetsuya de Scutano, yo. I'm pretty sure the paper crane thing is not a thing in America. Right? Bud confirmation. Bud. Oh my fucking god, he fucking dead. Bud. Bud, don't die on us, buddy. Bud, e. I hate my life. I'm gonna like tag bud. Oh, I saw yellow yes, exclamation mark for a second. There we go. Now, now we hear you again. Can you confirm? Are the weird paper cranes for sick people a thing in America? Mm, no. Thought we, we so. Use balloons. Thought so. Yeah. Uh, they are really projecting onto America and this. それなのにあの人ったら渡す時になったら恥ずかしいって言ってね。シャイだったんだね。あんな顔してまだ物置にたくさんあるよ。千羽鶴だなんて日本的だしロマンティックだね。でも。Such cranes with chips and fingers, the paper stamped and a little moldy. Even so, my heart fills up with warmth. Smashing my stern face, Nan hunched over a table, making origami to make me want to laugh. I want to stand it all. I love my father too. 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 バカみたいなことってわかってるけど、もしももう一度あの子に会えるなら謝りたいよ。親なのに子供を最後まで守ってやれなくてごめんってね。幸せにしてやれなくてごめんって。ちゃんと愛してやれなくてごめんって。ダメな親でごめんねってごめんわちゅうまんすぐんのぶんきてるぞ、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あんたがいないと、あ
still just as warm and comforting as I remember it. I was certain there's a thick lump at the bottom of my throat that words can't find their way past. Mom leans over and begins thumping me softly on the back. Mom's stroking my hair just like she used to, but the tears won't stop. <laughs> With that, the flow of words stops entirely. I throw myself into mom's arms, bawling like a baby. Seems a little taken aback, but gently embraces me. In the end, I can't do anything. My voice twists beyond recognition as I manage to croak out the words. Takes everything I have just to shake my head. It's none of your fault, Mom. None of this is. I'm the only one who needs to apologize. There are so many things I want to say, but I can't get any of it across. I don't want to leave like this, but the words won't come out. Even though I might never see her again, even though this might be the very last time I hear her voice, all I can do is cry. Mom, I... <laughs> words just won't come out. It's no good. あの、実は私、娘さんのお友達だったんです。それでここに来たんです。泣いてしまってごめんなさい。でも、あえてよかったです。A mouse moving all by itself speaking for me, but it's not unpleasant. I know Michio must be doing this for me. Oh yes, so kai. あの子のお友達かい? だったら早くそう言ってくれればよかったのに。私 まだお噂の投話したいことたくさんあります。涼しいお願いかもしれませんが、お手紙送ってもいいですか？おやおや、もちろんだともさん。時間ならたっぷり余ってるからね。うちにはパソコンがないけど、それでもいいかい？今時の
We have no choice but to make our way as forward on the two legs we were given. Life is just a long series of such small steps. There are plenty of things still undone, plenty of problems still unresolved. That's inevitable. Anyways, uh, wouldn't wrapping things up too neatly be a little boring? From now on, Michio and I will be dealing with the problems that come our way together. The world isn't so complicated. Walk forward and you'll find the future. Turn back and you'll find your memories. Cut off a piece and you've got a story. It's just one small part of one such tale. Do <laughs> not. I understand why you love this place. I can understand why you love this place so much. However, I would be remiss not to mention that a peculiar thorny difficulty has arisen in the aftermath of this incident. Am I to blame for this? Was it Michio or perhaps the other girl? I wouldn't mind taking the time for a thorough analysis of the matter, but in any case, I'm currently at my wit's end. ねえ、ゆうじくん。それよりさ、もっと違う場所行かない。ハンバーガー屋さんとか。ちょ、ちょっと待ってよ。出てこないでよね。今私はゆうじとデートしてるの。わかる人の邪魔はしないって約束でし
手伝ってくれてありがとうねそんな急に素直に俺を言われるとまあそのうん、うん、でもさそのなんていうの今度また会いに行こうよ私もあのお母さんのこと好きだし優しそうな顔してるし何しろあんたがいなかったら私は今生きてないかもしれないそのお礼も兼ねてねそれまでに私消えちゃったりしてねダメそれはダメこれからはずっと一緒にいよう何の偶然かはわからないけどこの体に二人の心が残ってるこの体は私だけのものでもあんただけのものでもないこれは二人のものこれからは私が助けられるばっかりじゃなくてあんたのことを助けてあげるからね待ってなさいイチュージャブズアウトフィングとエンプサイズのポイントウィッドノーウェイズプティクルドエイムダーチエンズポイントゲルソーだってほらあんたは私の親友でしょ<笑>そうねまあ君を一人にさせておくと勝手に暴走するしバカだし私がいなきゃダメでしょうねえ何その言い方ひ,ひどい君がしっかりするまでちゃんと私が助けてあげるから大丈夫君の真似なら得意だからね何よあんたに私のこのスーパーナチュラルツンデレができるっていうのできるわよ簡単簡単今やってみせましょうか<笑>じゃあユージくん Conversation seems to have taken a highly problematic turn. Enough to pretend that it ain't neared, but that's not a realistic option right now. Instead, I grunt out a reluctant half groan of response. Uh, yes. Yeah, understood. Shouldn't be a problem. Of course. Enough of the dramatic build up. Just do it already. Okay, I don't have a damn clue. He just stares intently at my face, her eyes filled with confident expectation. God knows what's gonna happen if you to me if I get this wrong. I have no alternative if I pull out the trump card. I love you too. <laughs> After a moment of bewilderment, the big grin spreads across her face. <laughs> no one telling how long this trick will keep working. I figure out some before she catches on. <laughs> だからユージ君の口のうまさにごまかされてるって<笑>ええー、ちょちょっとユージそれ本当本当だったら許さないんだからねうんフミンベースですフミデチュン Now this is the ending theme that was also used for leisure However, uh, I'm, I'm, I swear we were able to skip. What the fuck did I just do? I think I'm broken. I wouldn't recommend it considering there's a mid credits theme as well. Oh, okay. Why would they do that? That's actually that's maybe why they literally disabled the skip fu function in this specific one. Also, as a matter of trivia, I seem to recall there being additional CGs they put in. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of the labyrinth again. Because honestly, I think the development team just enjoyed developing the characteristics of an ordinary teenage girl. Mind you, I'm thinking of the labyrinth again. I suppose. That's a nice tune as well. Yeah, so I know that the worst of the three openings that I have on my phone is called the final practice. <laughs> we get all the ending themes here for some reason. 
You know what, since they brought up fucking Tuna Man again, let me just hold on it. Actually, let me use the browser for this. Actual Yu Gi Oh card. This one is bad. Fucking Butuna Full Princess. こんにちは。お元気ですか先日は突然お伺いして申し訳ありませんでした。急な訪問なのに心よく私を迎え入れてくれたことを深く感謝しています。娘さんはおばさまのことをとても愛していたと思います。もちろん旦那さんのこともです
What was I just saying? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine your girlfriend, like, get, like, getting aggressively jealous of her second personality. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, me that is that is the schizo nightmare <laughs> wake up 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 what about putting on a little makeup though it's good so <laughs> <laughs> I gotta move on in there. It'll be late unless you feel like running again. ほら、ほら、今の聞いた。もし走ることになったら、あんたがやりなさいよね。うーん。わかった。あとはフーをするだけだから。私はもう寝るから。フーしておくっておいてね。絶対忘れ。分かってるわよ。分かってるってば。は
the hospital. After she's gone, instead of what happens in her good ending, Yuji and Norisachi have fa found Michiru's openly placed box in her room, which has Michiru's diary that was has talks with her other personality, which prevented her from actually dying to just letting the other person take place and the other con contents, but they were probably hidden elsewhere. After we the weeks pass, Chizuru calls Yuji to her office, telling me him that Michiru attempted to commit suicide once again on the very first day of her, on her st on the very first day on her stay, she does the same disappearing attempt on the, her first day in the good ending too. It's her second personality that made Michiru want to change places forever instead of completely dying, which was supposed to happen in the diary. And nearly died, but left with a permanent brain damage. Shizuru gets annoyed at Yuji for letting her do this. After Ch Michiru comes back, there's no trace of neither of her personalities. All she can do is make noises and a few words, but her deep consciousness still alive some somewhere she was able to make out the words i'm sorry but it was too quiet for you to hear it and she seems to have her memories and she gets happy when she hears the word date and thinks of a white bag floating on the road as meow meow talking and taking and petting it even telling it hey <laughs> yuji loves me which shows both how mentally broke she is, broken she is but also that her feelings and memories are still trying to live on with this yuji ends up watching f watching out for her for the rest of his life not knowing what else to do Note, the reason that box was never found was because that diary stuff never actually happened. Michi never talked with her person second personality about dying, which made her stay with the idea of disappearing until the end, which caused her the suicide. This might seem like things Yuji said had nothing to do with this, but actually without even knowing, he drove her to death a little more by showing her more affection and concern, giving her even more reasons to die without regret, because Michio's thought process on disappearing was knowing she had enough good memories, now she could disappear without regretting that she was, hasn't spent more time with Yuji and her friends. Obviously not Yuji's mistake though, he didn't know Michio's feelings that deep. So Michio becomes a vegetable. Mm. But with some mobility and the mobility to her. Lovely. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, scene. Enjoy, enjoyed this one and uh, next time we'll be starting with the final round, Yumiko route. Oh, yes, sure. indeed, folks. In the interim, I'm going to try and stop my mouse from turning into Blackpool Illuminations. Have a good one. Bye bye.